Go for sound from the Hilton Hotel in Woodland Hills, California. This is it, another one round with George. Ever since I was a kid and saw Sugar Ray Leonard fight, I've loved boxing. I was at HBO for 15 years as a feature producer, won a few sports Emmys. Not bad. I got to travel the world and tell the great stories of these fighters. Maybe something of a rooting interest in Alexander among the entire HBO Sports crew here because Alexander's manager is former HBO Sports producer George Jacobin. I've managed a fighter. I've worked a fighter's corner, being as close to the action as you can get. My life has revolved around boxing. This is a new edition of One Round with George. We're in a new location, but we're still talking boxing. January 15th on ESPN, light heavyweight champ Joe Smith was supposed to defend his title against Callum Johnson. Johnson came down with COVID. With eight days notice, Steve Jeffrard is in. It's not often that life can imitate the movies, but this is a real life Rocky situation. Jeffrard is 18 and two. He's never been in against an opponent as good as Joe Smith, but he has trained with some of the biggest names in the division, including light heavyweight champion and Arthur Betterbeef. But the thing of note with Jeffrard is that he's trained by Kevin Cunningham. Cunningham has a long history in the sport. He's one of the top trainers in the sport. And let's see what happens on January 15th. And unfortunately, the biggest news outside of the ring, welterweight champion Terrence Crawford has filed a $10 million lawsuit against Bob Arum and Top Rank Incorporated. Among the most serious charges, the lawsuit alleges that Arum engaged in revolting racial bias that prevented Crawford from booking big fights. So it's a sad situation, but lawsuits and boxing go hand in hand, so we'll keep an eye on this and see what happens. I ran into Sergey the Crusher Kovalev, the former light heavyweight champion. He's still fighting. He's got a fight coming up in a few months. It looks like he's going to be fighting in the cruiserweight division. I met Kovalev back in 2014 when I was a producer for HBO. I did the first feature that HBO did on him. In his day, the Crusher was a dominant light heavyweight champion. He hasn't fought since November of 2019 when he was knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. We'll see what he has left at the age of 38. There were some birthdays in the past week of some legendary names in the sport of boxing. On January 12th, it was the late Smoke and Joe Frazier's birthday. Frazier is one of the most well-known heavyweight champions of all time. And of course, he's most well-known for that March 8th, 1971 fight against Muhammad Ali, the fight of the century. Frazier won a decision punctuated by that knockdown in the 15th round. Happy birthday, Joe. And two fighters share the same birthday on January 10th. And two titanic fighters in the sport. Felix Tito Trinidad, the former welterweight champ, the former junior middleweight champ, the former middleweight champ. He went 20 wins and one loss in title fights. Over 20 years ago, I was in the crowd at Madison Square Garden when he knocked out William Joppy, and it was one of the most incredible fights I've ever been to. Not because of the action inside of the ring, because of the love that the crowd at Madison Square Garden showered Tito with during the fight and after the fight. And what I remember most, Trinidad stayed in the ring long after the fight was over and just waved to the crowd. It was an amazing thing to experience. Happy birthday to Tito. And also on January 10th, former heavyweight champion Big George Foreman turned 73 years old. Foreman was 24 years old when he first won the heavyweight title, knocking out Joe Frazier. Famously lost the title to Muhammad Ali in the Rumble in the Jungle in 1974. He retired in 1977, came back 10 years later, and had an incredible second career. But then the real incredible moment happened in 1994 when he got another heavyweight title shot against Michael Moore. I was watching the fight with one of my best friends, and we really thought that Foreman had a shot. But as the fight went on, Moore kept winning round after round. Round. We were just hoping that George wouldn't get hurt. And in that 10th round, boom. Is down goes four on a right hand. It happened. It happened. And just like that, at the age of 45, George Foreman regained the heavyweight championship of the world. Just want to wish you from one George to another, happy birthday. So there it is. Another round with George finished, done. Please do not forget to go to my YouTube page. Enjoy the YouTube page. Like the content on the page. Subscribe to the page. I guarantee you you're gonna like it. It's nothing but boxing, and I can't wait to do this again.